Yes, welcome back to this new series. Uh, I'm very excited to bring you a Lord of the Rings themed Age of Wonders playthrough. And we're starting with the Tome of Faith. So we have Wrath of the Faithful and Army Hill. Okay, let's have a look at our... So we've got Gandalf the Grey. He is going to be leading our hobbits. So let's have a quick look at the hobbits. Um, let's click on the city here. So. So in this setup, I tried to keep the hobbits as realistic to what I felt they would be in real life. Um, so they're not going to be orcs running around murdering people. So I've picked resilient and tenacious, although they're not particularly great skills. Um, we're going for feudal, chosen uniters and devoters of good. In addition, the land I've picked as a desolate land, with um, three cities being a minimum, and a lot of the three cities would have been destroyed. So there should be a lot of city ruins around. But as feudal, they play very well with allying um, free cities. So having a lack of free cities with this affinity might prove to be a bit of a problem. Um, so let's have a look at the map. There are five other players that I've put in here. And we've got to hunt down Sauron and see if we can get him. Right, let's crack on. So we've got a few treasures to pick up here. So we're kind of in the middle. I wonder if there will be a player to the north. And I think we will call our city the Shire. Okay. I wonder what we should do first. Let's go straight into a fight. So these guys are quite annoying because they'll come in hit you and force you to turn around so then other enemy players can get an easy flank. If you hit them they teleport away so they're quite annoying these pe these uh, creatures. Inferno Puppy, they are just melee with fire and then we've got this Serpent Stormscale. So he's a me melee can't be stopped by Sona Control. When the unit is hit by a melee attack, the attacker sustains four lightning damage. Right, so we want to try and get him with ranged. These guys we want to get with spirit, spirit weakness. Okay. So, just a quick recap for those that don't know Feudal has. Um, this trait stand together which is 20% damage when adjacent to another friendly unit with stand together so how it works with these guys is to clump together 
Um, tenacious means that if we get damaged, we don't lose as much damage output. Um, okay. And also, Gandalf does not have Stand Together. So he's the one unit in my army that doesn't have that. So I've got to make sure to remember that. Okay. Where is my other pikeman? Um, we'll put you there. So he went on those thorns. Okay. Okay, I've got to be careful here because they're going to come round. Um, this one because they di he displaces so a one shot is better hopefully we'll get it we've got a graze which is just wonderful but it does mean we can bring my bow in without risk of a flank Now, do I want to take that kill? Okay, so they don't react to zone of control. But that doesn't mean if he moves out of zone of control, I should still get a retaliation. Uh -huh. hmm. I wonder what is the best thing to do here. What have we got? Wrath of the Faithful. do that. Um, okay, I'm going to move them up just one more. standing in um, they're standing in high foliage which is obscuring okay so 
So I definitely want to take a shot with this guy. See if we can get him. Okay, that's great. That's not great that he's gone straight to my archers. That's very, that's very frustrating. So we'll have to do this. Okay, that frees up the archer to hopefully get some work in. Okay, 77 draft, which is nice. Oh. We got a shiny helmet. Okay, so that gave, gives us one defense. Um, and we st have we still got movement? Yes, we have. Okay, the scout has fully moved. Right, let's do our production. So, I haven't played a map with this desolate land, um, but I do know that you can't build farms. You have to build a hut, which is reduced food income. So I, I certainly, I, I think we need to prioritise food early on, um, and that needed a forester to boost that. And I think we will get another archer in, or should we do another scout? I think we'll do another scout actually, because. Quite early on, you can get a lot of pickups, and so I think it pays for its value. We do have a, a full stack army as well, so we got that bonus support unit. And now Call of Glory here is probably the best early spell for the Tome of Faith, in my opinion. Um, so it gives units strengthened and the morale boost, so that's very nice. So let's line that up. And uh, I think that's everything, let's end the turn there. So what is that? Is that a um, an oasis? Okay, nice. So that's food. A locket of channeling grants ten combat casting points at the start of battle. Okay, that's nice. Um. Where do we put that? There we go. Cool, cool, cool. Now, I'm going to leave my scout left just for the time being. Mm. Okay, so two firehounds and a firehound puppy. So I think the firehound just does more damage. Let's have a check. Okay, but they do have pack hunter, so they, they, they're gonna hit quite hard. Um, okay, so there's a nice choke point up there. Should we go for that? They can actually come in quite quick, quite far. Yeah. yeah. 
I think we'll overreach a little bit here and see how we got on. Oh, that's annoying. Okay, if we move Gandalf, will that help with the travel? That is not ideal. Ah, I should have checked. I don't think it's going to cause us too much problems, but the positioning is going to be... Um, the positioning early on is really key. Um, okay, Gandalf, we'll put you there. Put you there. And then, should we do a flank for this? Let's try it. This, this is a risk. This is a gamble. Okay, nice. So they didn't advance in, so that's good. sword slightly more forward because they can tank a little bit more damage. So Gandalf has allows the, you to cast an additional spell, healing. But when he does his defense, it goes to an adjacent hex. So uh -huh. I could put Gandalf here and do that. So that will cover this guy. So that means we can do another shot with this support unit. And then Archer. Now, if I come in here or here, they're definitely going to funnel through. Um, oh, wow. They can, he can come right through. Okay. I'm going to have to put my archer here. I can't afford my archer to get locked up. Um, okay, that's fine. If they do come through here, that means their positioning is going to get um, screwed up. Okay, we'll give that a shot. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, that's lovely. Uh, we'll use this one for spirit weakness on this one. Is this the puppy? Yeah, so they're weaker. So let's see. Ooh. Okay, we'll go for this one. So I moved my support unit so this guy could come out. I'll get Gandalf to tank this. And then we'll 
come round. And then we should be able to finish him off with the spell. Lovely. Okay, good. Okay. This is quite a large... Oh, that's five puppies. Rainbow Clover. Okay, that's nice. Five Imperium a term is very good. The 100 relations is not critical. Um, but that is two tiles away to get that. Now, what was there? 300? Okay, we should, should be able to take that. Now let's have another look. Do we want to go left or right? Okay, we'll go, we'll go left. Lovely. Duke Lionheart of the Free City Silver Bridge greets us with some reverence. Salutations, wizard. Your reputation precedes you. It gives us hope to meet a wizard who shares our beliefs. We look forward to learning from you, and we trust you to respect Silver Bridge's territories and independence. All right. Let's give you a Whispering Stone, and we got three, five... Okay, we'll leave that as it is. So you've got a haste berries. Founding, migrating, or absorbing cities takes two turns less. That's quite nice. Oh, there's a scout tower there. We want to absolutely get that one. Um. Okay, rulers leveled up. Okay, usually... I want to get stand together for him, so he can also be amongst the damage with the others. Okay, nice. Let's just check the... Ah, oh, so we missed out on that bonus. Did we pick up food then? Oh no, production probably. Um, hmm. What are we going to build next? A forester? Okay, let's let's try and build a forester somewhere. Okay, so that's nice. That'll give us extra gold straight away. That's boosted that, and then we'll go straight into the library, which is built straight away. A vendor needs one farm. They both do. Now, it's a toss-up between the vendor and the workshop. I found gold from 10, turn 8, 10 gets really challenging. Um, but it is also nice to just get this early on. We'll go for that. Since we got the mine up and running, we'll prioritise the workshop. And that needed a farm, didn't it? So in three turns, in two turns, we'll boost that and then um, get a farm. Whoa. 
What is this guy? Whoa. Oh, so he's on a magic material. That's a very nice one. 10% experience. I've never seen this guy before. How cool is that? So that is a Chaos Eater. Very nice. He looks like a hero. No. Okay. So what's that? Is that a mana pickup? I think so. That's a mine. Is that? That's another magical fruit. Okay, so there's a lot of magical items around. New development skill available. Infestation. We haven't found one, have we? Uh, since we haven't cleared any, I'm going to get that. Because that's very useful to get 300 relations. Okay. This could be a little bit hairy, this battle. It should be alright. Let's have some water. Okay. I'm just thinking maybe we should funnel them down here. Should we funnel them here? this. So, if I move my archers here, they're all going to come running down here. I just know that that's what they'll do. This will block my range of sight, so I need to bring him right round. What was that? Oh, we've got this thing up here. What is this? Every two turns, all defending units gain Rally and Fortune. So we're not defending, are we? They are. Unit gains 5 morale. 10 crit hit chance. Wow. Okay, so they've got... Let's have a look. Okay, that is not cool. Um, what do you want to do here? They are repeating, aren't they? Okay. So if I put him in the middle, he's going to be the spearhead and he will get attacked on potentially three sides. So it's actually best to stay like this. And then I'm thinking if I'm moving forward, they're going to have even more chance to hit me. Um, now Gandalf can come here. He does have a sword. Um... Okay, can my support units hit? No. 
Okay, let's discard one. Let's try and get rid of one at least. Okay, nice. Okay, so now that Gandalf's got stand together, that means the archers get it. Okay, I think we will use the spell to finish this off. And then we'll use this to do a buff. Ah. Oh. Okay. What do we do? to try and get these guys somehow don't we but we're not just we're not gonna well maybe 25 so if we attack with this they will die next time when they attack us they will probably die next turn and then Gandalf is very feeble. So then we take two support units, try and shoot that off, and then use the spell. Hopefully, hopefully that's enough. Okay, this is good. Um, right, which one? Okay, what does Gandalf actually do with this attack? It's... No, sorry, wrong, wrong attack. Um, this one. Plus two defense, plus two resistance. Also. Okay. Um, right, let's do this one. Now I want to shoot first with the bowman because that will take damage off and so when they attack for retaliation it will be less. But which one do I go for? Because I'm thinking if I attack this the bowman can finish them off or rather the bowman and then the pikeman. That should kill that. That leaves this guy in the middle. And then I can... Um, I can move Gandalf around to the back and do a um, a boost, or I could just shoot. So I'm actually thinking it's better if we go for this one. We want the 90%, so we'll go for that. Okay, nice. Do we get the kill? Okay, very nice. Now, do I shoot here? Or do I do a boosted 
defense. I think if we take off this amount of damage, um, their attack is going to be quite minimal. So we'll do this. Okay, so didn't he, why didn't he get attacked when he left? I don't understand what happened there. And why didn't he get retaliation? What happened? Okay, so this guy attacked me first. I used retaliation on him there. And then he attacked. That was very clever, actually. Um, okay. Very clever. Okay, nice. 78 food. When is my scout ready? Next turn. Okay, so we grow in one turn. So we can boost the workshop without losing any production. That's good. So the workshop needed a farm. The thing is, I want to keep this free for being a quarry or a mine. And the same with this one. So ideally, I want to be building two quarries here. Now, I don't know if the hut counts as the boost. I'm hoping it does. Oh, I can build a quarry here. Actually, let's see. Does the quarry get affected by being built here? No, it doesn't. Okay. Okay. So that will work. I can also build a quarry there, so that works. So I can build the two quarries there instead. Which, in that case, it would be better to build the farm there. Leave this one for either a miner or a forester. So I'll do that one. Oh, the mi that mine is not in that province. I thought it was. Okay, so I could either go for there and get the 10 production... But there were no other foresters around. Yeah, so we'll have to build it here. Okay, let's get this. Very nice. Wow, look at look at that. That's so cool. What is this? Man, there are some massive amounts of magic materials on this map at the moment. Uh, workshop is done. Call to glory. Fantastic. That's a great spell. Faithful whispers. Now that's very good actually, but again, because we've got so few free cities, I'm not feeling it. This is okay. Um, support unit. We do have two in the army. Faithful at this stage is not... Um, Sorry, the controls here are a bit pants. Okay, unit upkeep 10%, and that's just for those two support units. Which is not great. Let's have a look at what their cost is, actually. Um, so they're 12, so 10% would be, what is that, about 1.2 gold coins. So we're saving two and a half coins with that spell, which is pretty mediocre. And then it gives you a healing spell, which is nice. But don't they already have one? I'm pretty sure they already have one, don't they? That's only on the adjacent hexes, isn't it? So do we want that for spells? 
or shall I shuffle? Um, sorry, I keep clicking off by accident. I want to see what other spells we've got on this um, tome. Okay, the co co convent is... That's okay. Chaplain is an okay unit. We'll do a shuffle, I think. This is nice, but not for now. This will allow all other units outside of our Hobbit realm to get stand together, which is nice. So our relations is neutral, and we haven't got any way of increasing that at the moment. So I'm going to leave that and go for the chaplain. Okay, let's just get our bearings. Are we on the edge? No, we're not. So let's see. I don't see any pickups here. Is that? Can we get inside that? Let's see. Oh, yes, we can. And there is something flashing in there, isn't there? Yes. We'll try and get inside there. Orders required. Ooh. Oh, nice. Another staff. That would be great. Let's have a look. Okay, so more damage. Same effect. Quit style, but it's the same. Oh, so adjacent allies have activates warding defense mode. What does that mean? I will take it nonetheless. So we've already got that. Adjacent allies have two resistance. I don't understand that. We'll have to check that out in battle, what that is actually saying. Okay, let's just quickly check our... So we're definitely going to go for the vendor. Oh, we need to do this castle as well, don't we? Population 5, we're quite far off that. But we're going to go for the vendor nonetheless. Um, okay, good. Okay, so we're going to leave it there, guys. Thank you very much for joining. We'll continue to scout up here. Find this little creator in there and then hopefully we'll find some other players all right thank you guys for joining